soitti Marikka Radiosta ja sanoi, että tääks on sun tapa osallistua solidaarisuuskokouksiin, tätä semmoista. Ja sitten oli niinku puhelun lopetus. No mä laitoin rauhallisesti puhelimen kiinni, kohta soittaa ja sitten toi joku toinen sieltä. Ja sitten se käytännön asiaa ja, ja sitten tota, sitten, okei, okay, keskustelu on sitä, että Marika sitten syyttää mua, että mä paan puhelimen luurin kiinni. Kun joku tota... Sen intonaatio oli sellainen, että, että se loppui siihen. Se mitä mä tajusin tän aikana itsestäni, että mä huomasin, että mä olin vaikka vähän eri tavalla asennoutuen, niin olin tekemässä taas samaa vanhaa prosessia, että hankkimassa itselleni potkuja töistä. Ja se ei ole mitenkään niinku järkevää. Ja sitten se on taas tämä vanha toistamispakko, että mä en lähde jostakin. Joku työpaikka, jota mä en pidä kauhean mielekkään, niin mä hankin mieluummin potkut sieltä kuin itse lähden. Ja se, se on mun toistamispakko. Sä olit. Ai sä löysit mun filmit. Joo. Viedään takaisin. Joo. Kiitos. start to work with these issues and think that this is something attractive for them. Hmm. So, uh, but I think all of them, you know, a kind of your presence in uh, uh, with what you were doing in that time in the gallery space as a space for presenting art was uh, something very new and uh, it was al always a new form of artistic presence for for our Polish art context I think but uh, you have done it also like in an also already in 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 Vispa you had some participatory events and and uh, 
Yes, yes, we were trying. We were, I think we were pioneers for Poland. Then, you know, they were the, the first projects of this kind. I, and now I, I initiated uh, Rizome. It's called Rizome Center for Research on Participatory Art and Participatory Design. And I made a calendar of activities in this field in Poland. And it looks that we were the first to mm. do this type of projects in Poland. And then the war so started, you know, and other uh, artistic centers in, in Poland. So was it like the same time that we were doing? So you did have some project already in 2000? Uh, yes. And even yes. earlier, even 90s, I remember. Yes, in the mid of 90s, we already started it, uh, with uh, engaged art projects. And uh, yes, uh, it was 94, 1994. Yes, we were doing a big, very big international project uh, um, uh, focused on uh, on the city development and uh, that we as artists were trying to be to to uh, show that we should be partners in the dialogue about the future of of the city and about the, uh, be partners in in the process of decision making uh, about the, the city future of the city so yes it was very very big project and very it attracted a very big attention of of the city and city government and yeah, we we. I remember that I was having um, uh, how to say, I was appearing every second day of of this project in t local TV to say what we we were doing, you know. So people mm. even on streets could recognize me and say, yes, yes, we support you, you know. <laughs> and yeah, it was really, uh, you know, people were so. Uh, so enthusiastic, much more than they would be now. Uh, now I am also in in a similar project uh, uh, supported by EU. It's called Memory of Water, and uh, here in Gdańsk, uh, it, it is focused on on uh, that we try as artists and cultural workers we try to intervene in the development of the former uh, shipyard, Gdańsk shipyard, but uh, it's another time. People are no more so enthusiastic and so so much involved in this type of, of issues. But then in the 90s, you know, uh, it was it was just beginning of, of uh, local government in Poland, you know, that uh, people realized that they uh, could decide about uh, their uh, closest uh, environment and uh, and their cities because be before before in the communist period we we had centralization so all decisions were made in Warsaw but uh, after 1989 we had decentralization and uh, local governments were established and people suddenly realized that they could decide about their uh, their space and their future. So it was yes, it was interesting period to to do this type of projects, even if this type of artistic practice was uh, something uh, you know unknown, and we had to well be pioneers, just just pioneers, yeah. So what you said that that people even recognized you on streets and and you had ideas how how you could develop the city together what kind of plans did you have and and what kind of dreams did you have uh, as a city and ha have any of these dreams come true um Actually, we, we had uh, quite uh, certain uh, demands, and uh, our idea uh, our ideas were focused on the center of Gdańsk, 
uh, where there is um, a, a so-called Granary Island. And it, it is very central for the space of the city. And um, it was still in ruins after the Second World War. Uh, so, uh, and in that period, it was beginning of neoliberalism in Poland. So, uh, you know, free market, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the city, uh, the municipality wanted to attract investors to build on this uh, space. And we were trying to say that uh, if they built there, they shouldn't build only banks or, you know, or a, a private business. But this, uh, this area, because it was so central in the city, should be kept also for ordinary citizens, for us, like city residents. Uh, so, um, to realize this, our idea was that there should be also places for culture, because culture, you know, if, if we organize culture in such places, you know, people would come, residents would come to take part in cultural events. So, we were, uh, we were demanding to, to uh, build um, a building for culture, kind of culture center. And finally, it ended up with Wajnia. So Wajnia Center for Contemporary Art was this building. It was not on this island. It was behind this island, but very close from, uh, from, from that place. And as about the island, it was still, after our actions in the 90s, it was still very long period when it was not built because investors didn't come and so on. There were some, you know, some problems with the property of plots, etc., etc. But just recently, in the last decade, the, uh, this island uh, is already, you know, built up with, uh, with buildings. And it is just the contrary of what we wanted. It just only for affluent people, for, for for business, for banks, you know, they, they are there. Uh, there are apartments, but these apartments are property of of foreigners who come to their uh, flat, you know, once in a year, or by, by some people from Warsaw who or for rent, you know. So in fact, they are not local citizens, and it's just. The exact contrary what we wanted.